live shows on podcast. Wholesome B, Mitch, Wavy, Trey. We got Queen the Barber in the thing. Fresh cuts. Queen the Barber. Yeah. The. The. Let it. The, the, the. Okay, a little, little bit. All right. But anyways, check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, IG, shit like that. Like, comment, share. Let us know. Yes, please. So, tell you what I want to know is. Would y'all let, like, your spouse, your significant other, the person that you're dating, would y'all let them be, like, a, a masseuse? Is that something that like, y'all would, like, be okay with, like, your person? I'm gonna go first. Okay, yeah. Uh, because I like male and female, so. Yeah. If it was a male, we not doing it, like, it's cool, but no happy ending. Cause okay. I know what type of male I like, so yeah, it's not that. So, so but, if it's a guy, he can't he can't be like one of them sexualizing yeah masseuse. You got to cover up, present yourself as a professional. Mm. But a woman can do what she want. Uh, did I get there? She ain't get there yet. Yeah, she ain't get there yet. Right, pipe bad. down. Oh, she ain't oh, get there yet. Okay. So look, love baby, let me ask you a question. So if it was a a girl, a mm. woman, not a girl, but a woman. Uh, you're gonna have to dress up. We're not dressing to be conservative. We're dressing to be conservative. Excuse me. We're dressing to be conservative, not sexual. Also, whether it's male or female, they both gotta be conservative. That part. We're not oh. doing no V necks. <clears throat> not a V neck. Damn. <laughs> a V neck. V neck. That's that very. That's very conservative. Yeah, yeah. That a That's V neck really nice. massage. Really nice. A V neck. For a massage. Because you gotta think about it. A female shirts be tighter. Okay. So if it's a V-neck, she might. A V-neck. A V-neck. That kind of had it. I'm know. not saying it should be too much of a crew. Okay. Like, a, like, a like, low, like you saying the low cut. Don't cutting. tug me like. Mm, I'm talking about like. Like a low cut V-neck. Like she cut yeah. it a little bit extra with scissors. It's okay to have like all the circle off for your shoulders to be all just a schmidt, but to go down further. Okay. What is you looking at? Because what I got to appeal to mine don't have to appeal to you. You're not here for that. You're here for the massage. Okay. You're here for okay. to get service in a way that you need to be provided okay. to your body to make you feel better the next day or going forward that day. There's nothing to be played with. Go play with yourself, my boy. Go play with yourself, my girl. Or let them ones that love you or care about you do that for you. Okay. If mine's got to work in that pro- and, uh, provide and, uh, environment. They're gonna do it conservatively because they're not there okay. to host in a different way. Mm. So they don't want. So no misconceptions, no discrepancies. None of that. This what is what you paid is. is what you get. It didn't say with a small rating. <laughs> yeah, a little extra, a little regular degla or razzle <laughs> dazzle. Ain't say no. no no, no razzle, happy, no happy. dazzle. No, Ain't no like happy, it. no ending. Get out of here. Nah, it says if you don't like your service, go to the manager. Whatever. <laughs> go to the manager. Well, that's right. yeah, that's right. You got what you asked for and what you paid for. Go to the manager. Simple as that. Trey, what do you say? So, um, I mean, I used to talk to someone who who did massages and shit. I kind of miss it. Like every time I got a crick in my neck, she got that bitch out in ten minutes. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> man, I miss that shit. But um. So yeah, I would <laughs> I would talk to someone who like do massages that they job like the ones who like really do for in the studio like they they got a uniform they they wear scrubs and shit so like okay not all not I was just the, gonna get to that yeah the, it's the the one I talk to like so you mm-hmm. feel me but otherwise I know them sexual ass ones is it fit me I know people who went to them sexual ass mas- massage and masseuses have you ever went to one no I have not. Mm-hmm. I'm not against it, but it just never happened. <laughs> like you feel me? Like never happened. But I like I know someone who did. So like, did the fact that I know someone who did. Like, I ain't gonna take you seriously. You fuck with me, you did the shit. But you're not gonna take them seriously just cause they job. No, no, no. The one I'm talking about females who went to that shit now. Like, so I, it was a female, not a male that went to that. What you mean? I know female who went to them central lab massages. Like, mm. but I'm, we I'm saying if the person you talk to is a, mas- is a masseuse. A Right. Anybody yeah, we say the person to? you talk to is a masseuse. Oh yeah, no. So I, therefore, the person you talk to probably will go to a male masseuse. Yeah, no. Uh, if I tell you you're going to a female, and then the one who I knew who was a masseuse, 
Like, it was regular as shit, and she wore scrubs. Like, she had a website. It's all professional, everything. You, you see the packages and shit type shit. But, it's, like I said, it's the so other ones. So, you went to her? Because it was free. I ain't paying shit. But that wasn't your girl? We was talking. But that wasn't your girl. I, I don't know what that is. But you was okay oh. with her doing that. Just If it's somebody else, you're not okay with it. No, like, she she was a masseuse before she met me. I can't, what the fuck can I say about mm. it? But that wasn't your girl, so how can you say anything about it? Damn, you took it a whole different level. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, though. <laughs> That's a good like, point. No, what, you what? said it wasn't your girl. I asked it's not time. your girl, so you ain't got nothing to say about you it regardless. Say about yeah, I, and I didn't say anything. I was happy with my free massages. And okay. like, so yeah, we, we was on the same boat. Okay. You yeah. never once, like, I wouldn't say questioned her, but feel some type of energy about her? No, it was, it was good energy. I think it's definitely worth questioning, like, okay, so what actually goes down on the side? I mean, niggas, niggas, niggas. It's worth asking. No, niggas, niggas try it on the old. Niggas do be trying on. What happened? How you know? Because you asked, right? No, she told me. I ain't no, asked. She just offered nah, that information? Hell, nah. She just it said was it? so long ago, she I can't like, remember. Hey, so I want to tell you, this nigga tried me today now. No, I, we no, probably no, talked. No. I don't remember, nigga. This was years ago you now. Don't wanna, you don't want to elaborate on it. No, I, I'll, I'll elaborate. It's but so long ago. You're not one to. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Can I? Can I? You can't, like, nigga you don't, don't remember so to. far in the past. I don't know how this shit was brought up. We just talked about like. But he remember be, everything else. No. I remember my massages. I remember you feel How did she massage you? Right. They were kind of different. They were kind of different. <laughs> you think she the first massage she did like that? <laughs> I don't know, kid. That was in the past. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Damn, you brought up a whole different avenue. No, y'all yeah, made it deeper. Yeah, I didn't even see that bad. pathway, my dog. Bad. I don't, yeah, no, I don't. Next I don't, question. That I don't was know. good. Thank you. No, it, question, I mean, bro. whatever. Good. She was my girlfriend. Look, I don't. Stuck, and then. <laughs> He been new with his way in the same spider web. Then you can't get out that motherfucker. You, you I'm gonna make a whatever home. happened. I'm cool with cause she wasn't my girlfriend. How about that? Mm-hmm. But it's all legit. Whatever, cool. We vibing and shit. But of course, like most people get massages from her where she was was over the white nigga. You know, white nigga gonna be on that extra shit. From what I was told, I don't, I don't know. I mean, Wait, I shut up. I can't confirm it. That. I can't confirm it. Doesn't it doesn't matter if they're white, black, it Hispanic, doesn't. Asian, persuasion, <laughs> Cuban. However you want to view them. If they want you, bitch, and they find you attractive, you're going to give the TLC. Mm. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm you just saying. Because yeah. well, that's what they uh, ask for, and they're going to yearn for them, and they energy to yours. Yeah. It, it's regular. And if you it, want that it, extra it, money, regular, they whisper in your ear, bitch, you do this all the time anyway. You it, can't just add, add and subtract mm. any motherfucking money. If regular masseuse is that, out there, you want that dog money. Because you can't lose your licensing. So you feel me? Like Somebody that's. I've never gotten a regular license. massage. I don't even know. So yeah, I don't like know. I'm saying, like she really was like in a, like a professional place. But I'm saying I, if there's professional places that still do that. Yeah, Asians. I mean, you just seen I, the we seen the Patriots on Robert Kraft. He just got caught up in some, in that in that whole thing. Yeah. So it's reg, it's professional places that 100 percent do that. For sure. Um, that's like that's the thing. Um, so okay. we can't discount that. Yeah, more, I mean, I'm just going over what I was told. Not, like, more Asians than not. She, I ain't she, never been to one, so I don't know. Stop playing. She wasn't Asian, so I don't know. Okay, but she wasn't black. She was not black. Exactly. She wasn't so, white either. She excuse me, white. I'm sorry. It depends on which environment she worked in. Mm-hmm. That was actually going to help her control what she liked to do. <laughs> I'm never, I'm like, never, yeah. I'm never going Chill. to just automatically like, assume a woman lying and she don't give me no reason. Like, okay. she gonna give someone, you a reason if she not yours anyway. She gonna give you what you need to believe and what you need to know. Yeah, like as, a, a, as a real point. nigga, you ain't got like, a lot of meat. It is what it is. You fuck with a hundred nigga. Yeah, with but who are you to tell the truth to either? She give, she give you bars. I ain't gonna lie. The fuck? <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, amazing. The fuck? Excuse me, sorry. I'm gonna do what I gotta do with you. And we're gonna do what Even we have to do with each other. Have a, uh, it don't matter. It shit matter. And, yeah. say and think that you're gonna maneuver my mental to make things think I have to be Re- around. Regardless, you. regarding you. <laughs> regardless, you come with the money just like the rest of these niggas. Excuse me, sorry. No, my mom's how free. How many? How many minutes? Regardless, oh, okay. you regardless. want a deep tissue or or just a regular? All right, boom. Say, can I get the regular, the old girl? Or she already knew that she's doing the regular. Regardless, so I would never assume a woman is lying. So I, stop it. I would never assume a woman's lying. I would get on the benefit of the doubt. Wow, because you lie all the time? I don't lie. I'm a black man. I would never do that. 
you're black, so you gotta lie. Whoa, whoa, that's you keep tainted. Up with, not saying that it's tainted on the fact that every black man lies. You're not well, a you you're, are you a black man? How we know I'm a black, black woman. Okay, so how we you never been a man, so how you know a black man will lie? Um, because I've been around enough on That's not a and valid then, answer. I know black men lie because the one that I dedicated my soul to that already like had me and is out his nuts lied to me the first time. What makes you think that I don't believe or do believe anyone to come next? Not saying that you can't be believable. I don't believe you until you make me not believe you. You get what I'm saying? Actually speak louder than words. You got a jaded mindset. No, you got, what they say, a narrow mindset. Oh, uh, no, I'm optimistic. Because it's just so narrow-minded. You might eat tater tot hot dish, but nigga, me, I used to eat chillies and, you know, greens and ham and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to sit up here and be thinking that everything is just smooth and it tastes like butter. Because that's all they put in it with no season. But when it seasoned up, I ain't running. Y'all run. Um, black men don't never like to present themselves as men because the lack of what they mama presented to them. What kind of nigga y'all be talking to? Uh, you gotta let people just talk to them. Let just talk. Like, at the end of the day, Trey, I understand. Right? What, what you understand? You not the picture I'm painting, right? Yeah, Because you don't want to be, but you ain't perceiving it because you not finishing what the fuck I'm saying, right? But, do you got kids? No. You got kids? Mm-hmm. Right. So look. Black, you take care of your kids? Exactly. Trey, bring your little ass here. So, come here. <laughs> the way you did that was crazy. <laughs> he lined up, right? Because I'm going to let you keep cooking. Talk, just talk, just talk. But you ain't got no kids, right? You got to think. If you got, I'm not doing this with y'all. No, it's hard. We let you, we don't want to interrupt you. We're going to get your full thought out. I'm laughing at him right now. Get your full thought out. Because he's taking care of his kids. Get your full thought out. Just talk, just talk, just get your, we don't want to interrupt your thought. Because at the end of the day, it's like, if you don't take care of your kids, you, a man, do you want kids? Yes. Right. You don't take care of your kids. It's rhyme and reason behind everything. Right, but yet, what is the reason behind every man leaving their kids? Everybody don't leave their kid. It might be the mama who don't want they that nigga around the kid. And I didn't, I didn't witness that too. Today is like so we don't know, we don't ever know the full story about everything. Like it's really a rhyme of reason, so you can't judge the situation what you don't know. Like when it's a bigger backstory behind that shit. But I'm gonna take it even a step back. <laughs> so we went from one situation to a whole I don't different know, I don't, dynamic. I don't know how we went to this based dynamic. on. I would say, you know, Trey said your jadedness, trauma, whatever. How do we get there? You just, because you just got a niggas mindset behind niggas. How no, do we get it's, here? It's just because he was like, the jadedness. What's jaded about how I was feeling? Because okay. you brought it to a whole different... Ain't nothing wrong so with it. So this is like, how like, you were feeling at the time. Yeah. Right. Like, my feelings is valid regardless if they... No, at for the sure. point of what you're not okay. seeing it as... But it might Why do you feel that way though? About men, black men in particular. That's what you specifically said. And she talked about niggas who only been raped around their mama. I ain't, I ain't have one, so I ain't. I, ain't I mean, black, black men. I mean, like when we talk about black men, though, right? From my experience, what I know, and from my opinion. So you say niggas rape around their moms, bitch ass niggas? That's what he said. Of course not. I don't know. That's what I heard. Well, I heard that. Of course not. Ain't nothing wrong with it. it, it I think she said that somewhat of a little bit. She said something a lot different than that, but uh, my bad. It's the fact of I believe as a woman, as a black individual woman, mm-hmm. with no kids that single, been in a lot of situations, is that everything is come from the woman. Like the man might help raise that child. But it depends on how much that man in that is in that that life of that child, right? Okay. But the woman gonna be there regardless, right? No. They gonna they. No. Yeah, because if a man ain't if a man is only there to conceive, but ain't there when they're when they're coming, when they're getting coming out the womb, 
Women, How else? women are not always there. Just because they have a baby, don't mean they always there. You hey, check it out. I grew up in, in foster care, so I know, right? I know different kind I'm gonna of perspectives tell you, I'm, of this. So this this is gonna this is an interesting conversation only because you saying you grew up in foster care. Yeah. Trey grew up with his father as a single father. Mm-hmm. So you say what you say is 100 percent incorrect in this situation because you look at an example That's where that wasn't the case. Because even in foster care, I grew up in foster care, but I wasn't. I didn't say I was adopted. No, but what you're saying is that the man isn't necessarily the primary caretaker. Yeah, like, no, man, they're, they're, you they're not. That, you they're not. That, you, the but fuck? that's not a fact. Yeah, that's not a fact. I mean, to some, to some pedigree it is. To some it ain't. I don't live that life. You ain't live that life. But, but so you're that, like, so you what, can't, you uh, can't, 30%? You can't generalize. You, right. Cause, no, because I never grew up with a mom. So you can't, you can't. That and can I be, never grew up with a dad. So you can't just be yeah, your whole generalization based on I niggas not niggas being ain't shit because you ain't go with a dad. What I'm saying is, <laughs> niggas ain't shit in the fifty percent of it. Now less than okay, yeah, we can come to you know some agreement to that because it's only about nowadays it's becoming about twenty to thirty percent. You know what I'm saying of male becoming into their children' life. Like that's just what it is. But before this, come on now. In the nineties, like I'm, I'm early twenties, I, I was born in the nineties. Oh, that's all I, I knew. Me too. Ooh, y'all probably the same age. No, I'm older than him. Were you thirty two? Three. <laughs> but the, like, I'm, my only point is, like, you, you. My only point is this: the fact that I'm not saying that men don't love their children, like even when they got because they got. They might have multiple, but you can't be in everybody's life at the same time, right? He grew up with his because he was. It was a blessing, though. You know, everybody don't have Every, it. Everybody's life ain't ideal. Exactly. So we use the one out of the, the how many people? My dad only had two kids. He raised both of them. And used the one out of ten. I got eight brothers and sisters. Oh. <laughs> You do that math on, on on trying to be like grateful about but, it. But the whole thing is though, so you you making this whole basis based on one perception, your perception, whereas this other because perception. You're talking about my perception right now, and his. And no, we was talking about something completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, what we talking about? Let's go. We was talking about massages, and you brought it to. Oh my god! You know, and that's fine. That's okay. That's cool. You brought it to where you brought it hey, to, somebody, but hey. however, the area you brought it to. Because you have it's stimulated for men, though. That's you know what, what I'm let me let me get to my point, though. The area you brought it to, you brought it to an area where all three of us grew up differently, yeah, with different di- home dynamics. Yeah. So the dynamic you brought up was men not being around, whereas Trey had a single father where he raised both his sons. Yeah. You had, didn't have a father. I grew up with a stepfather. We all grew up yeah, differently. Different, yeah. But I did have a father, but. <clears throat> But that's what, so you brought it there, and yeah, now he's so, telling yeah. you, nah, this is how I grew yeah, up. Like, he ain't wrong. Yeah, all, his, all, his, all, his all, his all the niggas in my family yeah, good. Yeah, no perception. No all the niggas in my family good. But my daddy there for a little, I mean, you know. Everybody grew up different. Up. Yeah. And that's yeah. still, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. And then my cousin on our, both our daddy's side type shit. But we all grew up different. We all grew up different. Yeah. And that's okay. Where it's like, okay, that's the perception you had. And they know your perception is not wrong. That's your perception. For sure. Yeah, but, but it ain't his perception, though. Yeah. But don't say that majority of everybody's perception. Like, everybody, everybody live like differently, so you can't I judge. said everybody live like differently. That's yeah, the Yeah, but you, you try to say majority people ain't got a daddy. We don't know that for real, for real. People say that, but is that really a true factor? That's a hundred. No, it's, yeah. Don't nobody know for sure. Yeah, no, they nobody say, know. they always want to put, right, uh, like, diminishing, they, 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 were, they always want to put a diminishing factor on black people. They don't want to take Facts. it back to the 70s, Black Panther, when they take all these motherfuckers out of yeah. the home. But in the 80s, they, daddy was there, but now they, they suffer cracks to get rid, or oh, take the nigga out of the home, you know, the same coat. It was so many factors, why, but like, so, so the nigga was there, but the white people, I didn't mean go to D, but these motherfuckers took him out. But all, the, most of these men, majority, wanted to be there. It might be a few, then that's everybody. But these niggas wanted to be there, and it's, I mean, it's, it's little I minute factors who, that made them not want to be, or didn't allow them to be there. And so many women have discredited their own <laughs> men for trying to be there because they wanted to be there more than, I feel like the women wanted to be there. You know? Sometimes, you know, men get discredited on that. 
But women get discredited too, because at the end of the day, yeah, yeah. we all gotta be there when we want, when we don't want to be there. But we yeah. already understand what this situation and what this 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 you know subject like means. Mm-hmm. This is life that's or fair. death at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. Regardless if it's the man's subject or the woman's well, subject, yeah, that's a fact. We all view it as a life or death because ain't nobody gonna leave yours that you had if it was you or if it was me. Women and female, we ain't gonna leave no babies duh. To go nowhere besides with us, right? That's real. We gotta teach them. So how do you? So how do? So we all in our thirties. How do we build stronger black relationships then? I say listening. Listening is key. When I say listening, because everybody criticizes us being black, loud and obnoxious. Mm -hmm. It's okay, you know. But I say black people gotta listen, like. Just because be like, yo, I said this and I feel like this. If you don't use the word I feel when you or something like that before the situation, you're already posting the blame on the black person. That's all they see. When you did this and you did that, bro, you ain't see how this. Wait, hold on. I feel when you did that, when you did that, and that made me feel this type of way. Mm. And you ain't understand how I was coming because you ain't sit and take the time to listen to me, but yet. Before I finish talking, you already criticized me or pointed the point the blame back at me. Listening is imp- so listening is important. It is, but I feel like the other fact that I think it listening, it compatibility, it uh discipline and financial like literacy like nope. me. Whoa. Nope. Because before you get to discipline, before you get to literacy, before you get to uh money financials to anything like that, you have to yeah, it was no order, it, you but you need all that before it be sustainable. Sustainable, of course. Yeah, so that's... But if you can't, long, no, if you can't listen longevity. and comprehend, and if you can't come to agreement before the plan, you not agreeing to nothing anyway. Yeah. Because what you yeah. agreeing to is the fact that we ain't going to argue. Yeah, but you ain't agreeing to this plan that I put out before from before we didn't agree not to argue. Yeah, I'm speaking about you know longevity, I mean? so all that shit That's important. what I'm talking about. Yeah, so all that shit. Because people... People don't ain't gonna stay together if ain't no financial like freedom at the end of the day. Like, stay but why should water. it be financial freedom at the I ain't end of the day? Nobody to stay broke. together. At the end of the day, well, it gotta I mean, be legacy. Not be with period. Nobody broke. The legacy is we don't fall short to none, but we stand strong to everything. But finances is, is a big part of finances it. Finances yeah. is gonna always be a part of that because if you don't stand. People so understand each other all day, be broke as fuck. You're gonna understand the fact that if you know you wanna stand strong, <laughs> won't nobody. Come up. They won't come and entice you. They won't come and really, you know, try to be a bully to you. They're going to want to listen to you at the end of the day because they can't, you're not going to fall short for none. So at the end of the day, what you're going to stand for is no, going to stand for. going to fall short for the money, you're going to take care of the household. Hey, look, the money becomes funny because at the end of the day, money don't make nothing. Money don't make max. Money don't make nothing. The money don't make. True. It makes mayhem. It makes, you know, disruption. It makes. You know, a concept long, to where people can't function because they think money gonna is going to make more, that situation better, and it's not. Long term, it's going to make life more long sustainable. Long term, is not. You know what makes long term? is a legacy. A person that thinks, a person that's willing, a person that's giving, a person that fought, a person that fought, name is going to strive harder than a motherfucker that made that money. And financial uh, <laughs> Yeah, stability. but financial, that's when we're talking stocks and bonds. You know, you want to think more creational. You ain't going to think foundational like that's cool mm. but what about the rest you thinking about something that's that's why no, it could be it, epic it, it, in the short it, it, term it, but they can get took it from you because no. if you bought a house what's your foundation on nothing that you paid for it's so when they whatever they come for your house they can always buy you out they can't buy your land it's 101 ways to Stop skin it, a cat bro. it's more than one way to skin a cat it's yeah but if you just uh uh what you say put on put the answer on hot water you take that, you take that hair off, and you can skin them every day, all the same way. That's it. Dip your ass in hot water and skin them the same way, man. When you took the butt off the nuts from the balls, it's all gonna bleed out. That's it. Nah, I think you, I think you did make a good point. Uh, but it is foundation is super important. <laughs> Whereas if it's a solid base, it doesn't matter what the money situation is. That's a fact. That is a fact. That's a fact. It doesn't matter what the, what the money situation is if it's a solid base. Because money comes, money goes. And my name it's landed on it. It's already there. What's mine been mine. And it depends on how the nation after me present that to be still a foreign and 
real focused nation. If it wasn't, oh, you lost me. <laughs> like when I say nation, like like a real foundation. Like mm -hmm. I can have this phone planted on this surface right here. The house might leave, but I'm planting this. This is my soil. You heard me? If y'all come behind me and then put contamination on that soil, now you're forced to be moved out. Y'all it grows from no, there. I it don't it. grow for you though. It lacks for you. It yeah, grows for the motherfucker that bought it. Yeah, I get it. Um, now I, I think I do. I do think you're right really? on, on the foundation part. Just because I'm right on all that. if you ain't gonna conceal it, don't heal it, man. I don't know what that means, but. That means <laughs> if you ain't gonna buy that land to be prosperous and be loving and be nourishing to mm. it, don't give it. Don't buy it. Don't put no money into That's it. That's hard. Be yourself, man. Go on somewhere, bro. Go play I somewhere agree with else, that, man. Actually. I you did. know what I'm saying? Because you got it for yourself. You ain't got it for your kids at that moment. But by the time you die, three months later, just in case you know, because everybody don't know, you know. If you die three months later, you ain't even sacrifice that 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 land for your kids to be. Flourishing and flourishing on after you because by the time you signed that that deed or that over, it was too late because it was two days before you passed away. So nobody owe you nothing. And nobody did nothing. Mm. Mm -hmm. What you supposed to say, Trey? You just supposed to say something. Uh shit. I got you supposed to say? Yeah, I, I swear. Oh, okay. No worries. Um, Back to the relationship question, man. I mean that is a relationship question yeah, because that is the question because the question bubbled up to so how do we make you know black families stronger and sustainable? And sustainable? Um, you you got and y'all both make good points. I mean, it's scared to express yourself within your brothers, your sisters, your daddies, and your your, your uh, mama. That's where it all deflates because if you can't express yourself to your own household, but you got to go outside your household to explain yourself and express yourself, it's a lack. There's a there's a gap in that household and it's gonna crack sooner or later. So I just, I 100 I think that's a problem. That's one of the problems why black families have not been so sustainable because we try to keep everything in the household, whereas the household doesn't have the the perspective that we need always. This that's why, fair. That's, that's why fair. the household has not been sustaining. We've tried to keep everything in house. That's the thing with the black women. Keep everything in house. Don't let it. You don't need to be going to telling people your business. Whereas. That's what your mom used to say. Don't say what's going on in my house. That's and that's a problem though. That's always been a problem. Therapy's that's a problem. Important. So it's because it's like okay, is very important. You keeping it all in the house. Don't nobody in this house got the answers. None. Exactly. Nobody here got the they answers to what's going on. Answer. They don't want to be embarrassed and feel like you feel me some other shit. Exactly. It's Thanks. it's like somebody need to help us understand what the hell is going on and how do we get through this. Us talking to each other. No, none of us know what the fuck going on. Right. Back then you might just get beat. Like, uh. Right. And if you say you was crying or it hurt, you're going to get your ass beat worse. And that's just, you know, that's carrying on traumas just through stuff and from that shouldn't be have to be carried on. So it's, um, you know, figuring out ways like that. Like, so not keeping it all in the house. This, this, is, this is my opinion. Not keeping it all in the house. Uh, I will say having a solid foundation, but also part of having a solid foundation is having a financial foundation too. Saying, okay, we can stand on this. We know we're both, you know, we have a solid income. That builds a foundation amongst us. We trust our financial situation. So we all could agree at this point because one aspect is not the end all be all. Just because you have a financial, uh, great financial uh, foundation, don't mean ain't going to be no issue. Just because you got a solid foundation of a strong family, don't mean your family going to, everybody in that family are individuals. So it takes a whole multiple village? Ab yes village, village okay. avenues to to sustain most of the people in the family be great people as individuals because every y'all you, you, might have people in your family who had a strong foundation but it was other things that was missing and no it they, takes courage mm. it takes individual courage that's true because at the end of the day some people it takes be mighty passive some no. people might be, you know, well equipped and adaptive, and some people might be laid back and aggressive. Like, hold on, like mm -hmm. I'm not. So it's it's different levels to the individual courage because it's like siblings. Everybody play a different part. There might be an older know, sibling, right. it might be younger. Sibling. Everybody doesn't have the courage though. I you're, think you're right. Yeah, yeah, but it's different courage. But, everybody don't have courage. But the courage of different siblings, like 
Uh, it's, older it's sibling my, courage to the uh, younger sibling courage in two different courages. Two different types of courage. Okay, yeah, 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 that's all. Okay, I'm speaking that. in the second oldest. Okay. Okay. Tell us. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> okay. Well, I got the courage. Yeah, but for what? Like the old, I got the courage like, for everybody like in my family that don't have the courage. Like I love so hard and I love so deep. Okay, so mine's like mine's is mine. So what Trey's saying? Okay, that's the type of courage you have. That doesn't mean but that you, so listen, I'm not listen. disregarding the courage that my other that's, siblings yeah, exactly, have. Yeah, there, exactly, there, right exactly, there, exactly. that's what we're getting at. Some is it might like, be different. I mean, mine, yeah, it's more courageous and it's more raw, right? My my sister, which is older than me, y'all know her, is, <laughs> is, 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 is courageous, In a but different it ain't way. as raw. It's a different way. You know what I'm saying? It's not as raw, it's more caring, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I care, but I'm raw caring, you know? Mm-hmm. Think I'm a little brother, he just not sure. You know, <laughs> well, if that's how y'all feel, you know what I'm saying? Hey. A young, the, the younger sibling might be nonchalant because the other but then, sibling no, has to take listen, that verse. Eight of us. So then you got that was us. Then you got this one. He more like, oh yeah. I right, well, I don't want to talk about it right now. I will call y'all back. I'm gonna call back probably a three, four, five, maybe a week. <laughs> then you got the twin. One of the twin she. Ah, uh, I understand like the fuck. Look, I want to tell y'all like like how the fuck I feel. Yeah, I got you. You know what I'm saying. I want to tell you how the fuck I feel because I ain't holding back shit, right? Then you got the other twin like, well, I'm just, you know, I'm not really confrontational. But, but and every, I'm not going to fight either, but I'm not going to every aspect, to that's courage. Courage yeah. in different kind of ways. Exactly. Different ways. Then you got exactly. my little brother. He's just like. Go to flow. No. He's <laughs> a little rascal. Yeah. He's a little, you be like, hold on, wait, damn. Who you listen to? Ellie Chapo? What the fuck? Like, who? But all those are different types of courage yeah, to be able to stand on what you believe. Exactly. Yes. And to... Because they all show emotions. Uh-huh. And it, it keeps the family together in different aspects because they bring their own aspect of the part of what the family may need. A different shit. point of views. Exactly. So it all the courage in my eyes. I think it is. Because I love them all dirty. Exactly, mm-hmm. and you, it bring out a different feeling in you with mm-hmm. all their individual, yeah, cause individual I'm the courage. Cool. I'm the one that's gonna be like, "Nug, if you but right." Like. Well, let me ask y'all this though, because well, we was talking about progressing black families. How do we? So we're not going there. We're gonna go back to relationships. No, we're going because it's all the same thing. It's, very it's, it's, it's literally the exact same. This very is relationships. Important. This is literally relationships. So you just named so all your eight siblings. You know, your siblings, my siblings, everybody has different, the courage, the courageous in different elements of life. Why can't they be courageous in all aspects of life? I think that's because of how black families are broken up. And that's going back to my initial thing. Like, yes, yeah, we talking about uh, the financial to the, to the foundation, but it's never a whole cohesive thing. Like, it's always an imbalance. We, as a black family, we got to find a way to find a balance, which is tough. Like you said, I said financial. She said some other shit. You said, like, mm-hmm. we got to find a balance. All of it's correct, but we got to make it a cohesive correctness mm-hmm. all together. No, like, shit. That's a fact. We, we hit the spot. <laughs> I mean, that's real, but yeah. this, this is everybody real life that's, like, unfortunately, everybody, everybody not say everybody's to, black, but a lot of black people deal with nah, yeah. broken people homes general, and... People, people, no matter what, you you outside, don't... Everybody, like, damn, even though that's... He, he lit the all shawty, she lit the all shawty today outside, everybody individual, everybody going through some real life shit within themselves, within their family, within their child, cousin, brother, sister, mm-hmm. mother, but nobody take the time to realize it's going on like so people just mm-hmm. judge this shit without Mm-mm. knowing what the fuck they nope. got going on for real and y'all need to know that without judging people and then learn people especially trying to talk to them and like you feel me date them really court them and all that see what's the bad story before you just judge what the fuck they got going on for real mm-hmm. type shit what you just gonna say Niggas hitting shit on the head. That's all she's saying. Oh, <laughs> but, but real life, though. But it is it is real life, and it's real life for a lot of people. Yeah, that, for a majority of us. Yeah, like I said, a lot of us. I mean, I mean, majority of us come from a weird type of home situation. Yeah, like, where like even though we got good aspects, and not the perfect aspects. And it's like it's like okay, we we be excelling in stuff, and it be like we can excel in so much more. Yeah. 
Uh, once we and, figure out everything and else, and wow. we and we're like, ex- let's just talk about something else. And, and <laughs> we here, yeah. we here, we, we here. here. And even though we're excelling, we here. So we're imagine here. all the trials and tribulations we got to just to sell in these realms. So you should. I know we here. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so okay. We got. It's, 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 it's all good. It's oh all good. Like, like this, this it deep. It's, it is that deep though. Yeah, this but is everybody like some else though. But like. We we it, nah, we, it is what it is. So like yes, we are a so people probably got certain shit going on. You are an entrepreneur. You work in corporate America. You have a whole strong foundation. But what did it take to get here? And people don't want to realize or understand that shit. Like it took a lot to get here, but people don't want to understand and accept that fact. They just see you outside, not knowing the backstory yeah. of the person, which made people judgmental, not knowing what the fuck they got going on. And this this is why it's always yeah. like when people be like, um, "There's all these different programs and all this other bullshit." It'd be like, "Nah, black people have to take so much more to get to just to the to the level point, just to the even yeah, point. To the we got to do so point. much more." Yeah, you have like to over, they don't overcome so much more. Like, and it's like you gotta right. account for that always. Yeah, all that shit's important. Like it's hard for us to get here, but we make it. And some nigga might do it with a smile on the face, but that shit was not easy. It wasn't easy. And a lot of times it's a smile on the face, so we don't even understand how hard it was. Exactly. This was they don't know they got Femi PTSD and some more shit. Just, oh, nigga might life. need to be there. It's part of life. We gotta deal with it. It is what it is. We niggas. It's yeah, not women. Like, this is what we do. Or we, we women. Or we, <laughs> we just do. This is what yeah. we do. Like we overcome this. We, we, no, we're not doing this. We already yeah, we, here, we, we, like we, we here, here, like we just talking. We just talking yeah, at this like, point. This is what we do, it's like real life situation. We people got to see this shit to understand. Like you ain't the only one going through. We understand. We one hundred percent not the only one. So don't feel like you alone. We with the shit. So just figure out. Just learn how to figure this shit out. Cause you ain't figuring this shit out alone. Cause, Cause everybody. Day is like even if you lost some, even if you lost some from where it comes from, death, mm-hmm. adoption. Mental, you know, physical, mentally, just physically. mentally, they got, you feel me, anything. Yeah. They're, it's they're a loss. They're it's a it happened. Yeah. You got to, we got to. If they're gotta, not dead, they don't forget about you. If there is, they, then you don't forget about them. It's just a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle, like, regardless if you live or die, like, you not going to forget what was important to you. That's Ever. a fact. That's a fact. That's what I'm saying. Another fact is that black men don't cheat. We appreciate you for coming. Black men cheat like a motherfucker. Okay, well, let's cut that out. Uh, Cut, exit. Uh, Wait, wait, beautiful guys. Uh, uh, Dynamite.